subscribe to the channel, and comment down below saying I subscribe to this month's shoutout giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Discover. The TLC reality series, 90 Day Fiancé, follows couples who have met online. The couples consist of one US citizen and a potential partner who lives abroad and has applied for a K-1 visa, with just 90 days to when the couples have to overcome the cultural barriers and family drama to make it to the altar. I go 100% in this relationship, thinking. Really? Yeah. Between the scandals that have come to light regarding the show, things don't look so promising regarding the life of the show. And here is a list of some reasons why a 90 Day Fiancé could be coming to an end. Staged Scenes While it's no secret that reality TV shows tend to be entirely scripted and reality is only a false sense of human emotions delivered to the audience, 90 Day Fiancé is no different in its direction and the couples featured on the show have mostly been together for a long time before getting onto the show. Not to say that the entire show is acted out, but the producers do their best to keep the set picture perfect and add in elements to enhance the drama any way they possibly can. He's locked himself in the guest bedroom and he won't talk to me. The producers have allegedly asked the couple to reshoot things often and even add and remove pieces of dialogue that they think would go well with the show's reputation. The result is a reduction in sincerity and overly increased drama which even fails to impress the audience and falls flat because the supposed ameliorations fail big time. An example of this was Louise Mendez, who under the show in season 5, didn't maintain the quiet and made a huge scene by taking it to social media. Mendez claimed that the producers altered his scenes and made him appear as a bad guy, whereas he was not nearly as mean in real life. Others like Mendez have also come forward to say that everyone involved in a particular scene has been planned to be there and nothing you see is an act of spontaneous reaction. The application process. The application process into the show is flawed, to say the least, and allows the local scammers to find their way in through many loopholes. It's like, it's like you're having a nightmare and you wake up and it's true. It's really happening. It's not a nightmare. It's really happening. That's what it felt like. Although the producers like to believe that their team is great at sifting out the scammers, but it doesn't always go as planned. Many couples have managed to fool the background checkers and got their 50 minutes of fame and a few bucks out of it. The audience was naturally bummed and it affected the PR of the producers heavily. The producers have put their guards up since and the procedures have improved since. The producers also cherry pick couples who they think are well fitted to follow the directions and have a relationship filled with drama that would attract viewers. The audience sees through it and is likely to put an end to the non-genuine show. The number of divorces is implausible. The producers have long been trying to hide their manipulative lies by giving out false information about the show's statistics. The executive producer, Matt Sharp, told the audience that only three divorces happen in every 25 couples. The audience called them out on that and did their own research to find out the actual numbers. Their facts conveniently ignored the couples who never got married or got separated after the filming stopped. The fans pointed out the faux pas stats and the producers had to face big backlashes which ruined the show's reputation and caused the ratings to plummet. Green Car with No Citizenship The show runs on the basic presumption that the participants get their US citizenship surefire if they end up being together. However, that's nowhere close to reality. As any reasonable person would understand, the US doesn't hand out citizenship to couples hopelessly in love. While some couples do manage to get their green cards on a temporary basis with heavy restrictions imposed, they still have to wait for two years until they receive their proper citizenship and there's no guarantee that they would end up getting the full citizenship with no restrictions. If they fail to get it, the review process is the way to go, which is filled with multiple examples examinations and interviews, not to mention requires another three years of waiting. This is another issue that could add up with others to cause the show to sink for good. Legal Trouble The show has faced some serious legal issues during its run and has been dodging them since the start. One of the show's participants, Mark Shoemaker, didn't like the way the editors portrayed him on the screen, all mean and a total douche. He took the production company to the court and tried suing them big time. However, the judge threw the case away as the company brought forth the contract where it's clearly mentioned that the editors reserve all the rights to portray the characters as they prefer. Another participant named Mendez also claimed that the show portrayed him as the guy who was mean to his partner and that was just utterly false. While they technically do stand their point, it's ethically unacceptable to treat people that way to boost ratings by exploiting emotions. The audiences have slowly been realizing it and the participants have also taken the matter to the media and court and the show has been predicted to nosedive into troubles coming from the legal sector. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.